Hey animal lovers, today is the day I'm getting rabbits. So excited. <laughs> previous videos from this one I gave all the details on these rabbits and their setup so do go check out those videos if you want to be more filled in anyway it's January Tuesday the 24th and basically I'm getting another Lynn dwarf and hoping to get a lion head as well from this breeder so although I'm set up for two bunnies and I'll be bringing two carriers the lion head I asked for may not be there yet because on their website she was listed as coming soon we'll just see what happens when I'm there if I end up getting a different one or coming back for that lion head <gasps> the breeder just texted me <laughs> that that um bunny just arrived <laughs> wow yay penelope's there <laughs> good timing okay well i guess i'm gonna go get a couple rabbits <laughs> after all penelope is the name of that rescue rabbit by the way the coming soon rabbit that isn't coming soon anymore <laughs> so these two rabbits are a male and a female and they're not spayed or neutered yet so i will have to divide this pen for now it is quite small area, but I will definitely be letting them out to hop around this room individually. <laughs> Spaying and neutering is definitely something I am not looking forward to because of risk and cost, but it's pretty much a must for many more reasons than just keeping them from reproducing. There's not actually much prep I can do for their carriers because I don't have hay. They have their water dishes, <laughs> although I might actually use ones that have lids. Anyway, before we go, we have to stop at a hay place to pick up some hay, because I don't have hay yet. I mean, I have treat hay, but that's not Timothy or orchard grass. My idea for a divider, because I don't really have a divider, I don't actually have the pen yet. It's coming today in the mail, so I'll have to set that up as soon as I get back home. Anyway, I'm gonna somehow attach these hay feeders, which are just temporary because they're kind of small. I'm um, gonna attach these to the pen somehow, but still have it be above the litter box. And then for the divider, I was thinking I'd get like white wooden grid thing I we have outside and I would attach that. And because it has holes, I could attach it to the pen and then cover it with a blanket. Hopefully that works as a divider. I am so thankful to be getting to have this experience and opportunity. But yeah, let's go get these carriers ready.
<laughs> you can train them a little. wash these so this is a timothy and orchard grass mix at least i hope it is i'm not familiar with haze yet i wonder if i should cut this in half i saw someone do that once in their rabbit video Pumpkin spice, how are you? <laughs> Not yet. your stuff in here with her. Now that she's out of the bag. I hope they can't jump over this divider. I may have to find a taller one. She likes the box. <laughs> Sorry it's a bit small for now, Penelope. It's nice to see you all active though. Time to take care of the pumpkin spice. <laughs> There's no way that's tall enough. Time to go get my dog and let him see them. 